Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bahashim Rakak Badash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity. Salutations to the scattered elect that are scattered among the heathens around the four corners of the earth. And salutations to the few Akwaf that are listening and learning to you. I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson. And we're going to talk about demo crazy democracy and what a joke it is and how the whole world sees it and the embarrassment of it because he, you know they, they brag and boast about democracy but under democracy there's been what America has been in existence for 240 something years I believe if I'm not mistaken I could be I'm trying to get the math right um, and uh was it 222 years? I know that to, to that, um, look, 212 years of America's or 213 years of America's existence or, or a close roundabout number has been spent in war. That's what democracy gets you. War after war after war. And then they'll hide it under the guise of democracy. But remember the word uh, demo and crazy. Those both those words go back to the Greek. It's a kind of democracy is a compound word. So I'm not going to give you the meaning of them. Do some research. Go learn about it. All right. But it's not very good. All right. You put those two words together and there you go. But we're going to. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's play a little bit of this video. And, and I'm going to expound on what's going on here. All right, now, just a few moments after the American Congress approved Joe Biden's presidential win, the outgoing President Donald Trump has promised that there will be a peaceful transition. Now, that was an untrue statement because Congress didn't approve anything. The Electoral College did, which I believe they're going to correct that. All right, but let's let it play. But Donald Trump's social media aide, Dan Scavino, has tweeted Donald Trump's statement that Donald Trump has said, and I quote him here, even though I totally disagree with the outcome of the election and the facts bear me out, nevertheless, there will be an orderly transition on the 20th of January. I've always said that we will continue our fight to ensure that only legal, out, legal votes were counted. While this represents the end of the greatest first term in presidential history. But so you see how arrogant, all right? The pride of their heart have deceived thee. Let's grab that. You know, this will be the end of the greatest first term. That's like bragging about being a minute man. You know, you don't, you, you know, you don't brag about, you know, your bad performance. Like, yeah, baby, I know that was the best two, three minutes you ever had. That's, that's not good, man. You, you don't want to brag about that. You know, this, <laughs> but let's find that. Yeah, this is Obadiah 1 and 3, and it reads, The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, and hath saith in his heart, Who shall bring me bound to the ground? And that's literally how, 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 how Trump was feeling. Now, there's a couple things that I've heard, and I'm going to you know try and, and get learn more about that information before I talk about it too much, but... um. But I did see some information that basically stated that this whole thing was set up, that Donald Trump was set up to lead a coup. All right. Because the uh, the Patriots are, are are understand and were trying to take the government back from the corporations and the bankers. All right. And that he was the president that was chosen for this to happen on his watch. So they're saying that this is over. And I know it's not because something's going to happen because the, the great insurrection and the, the Civil War has to go forth and the first shots have already been fired. So this thing is calmed down for now, but it's not going to go away. That I can assure you. Okay. So let's go back to that video. It's only the beginning of our fight to make America great again. But the statement has come after the Congress certified Joe Biden and Kamala Harris 
to run the White House just hours after the pro-Trump rioters. And see, they're deliberately saying that, that the Congress, it wasn't Congress. It was the Electoral College. You know why? Because this makes it plain as day that the whole voting process is a joke. The whole voting process, all the money and time and effort and money that goes to paying the, the cost to set it up and the people to run it, all that could be going to the infrastructure and going to the people that need it. All right? Because the Electoral Stop College has been shown to you on national TV for the whole world that your voting does not count. The Electoral College decides who's going to be your president, point blank, period. The election was all these months ago, and now, in the new year, the, elect the, the Electoral College comes in and it tells you who's definitely the president. Hell, causing complete pandemonium and violence at the Capitol Hill. And the U.S. Congress has confirmed President-elect Joe Biden's victory hours after the supporters... You see how he keeps saying the U.S. Congress? They're deliberately lying here. Congress doesn't decide who's going to be the president. But that's democracy for you. All right? This whole system is crooked. All right? <laughs> I can, if, 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 man, I'm telling you, the, my court proceedings would be a blockbuster movie. If, if, because it, it completely shows you how wicked, how unfair, and how there is no justice when they want to get something done, all right? And how the courts and everyone involved in the process uh, tried to stop and prevent this from happening, even to now. Even after winning, they tried to come back and, and take away the win. So this, this, so this, that's the same, it's all part of the same system. As a matter of fact, uh, but it, he keeps saying now uh, you can't see the video, but I'm reading and I'm looking at it and it says Biden receives 300 electoral votes and Trump received, I think, 242. So why does this guy, why does this broadcaster keep saying Congress decided? Even though I'm reading Biden receives 300 electoral votes. And Trump received 242 and still doesn't disagree. And that shit show was a stain on America. And you heard all these politicians talking about it last night. And the scripture clearly said that there will be shame on your glory. Matter of fact, let's go to uh, Habakkuk. Uh, the first chapter, I mean, the second, the second chapter, I'm going to start at uh, verse one. And it reads, and I will stand upon my watch. And set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what shall I answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain on tables that ye may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it shall surely come. It will not tarry. And we've been waiting for these days, for these events um, I've been waiting, going on 12 years now. The apostles and elders been a hey, have been waiting double and, and and the heads almost triple decades for this for these days to come. And they were watching air all the signs that were leading up to it. You're talking about patience, man. And, and then you wonder why we give them double honors. All right. Then you got people that complain about a couple years over something. You know, but uh, verse four, behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. So for this man to say, to brag about his minute man status, <laughs> this is the end of the greatest first time president. <laughs> wow. What an arrogant uh, uh, a-hole, that ego, man. All right. Verse, verse five, yet also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. And the, and the, and the American Edomites, no, the Edomites uh, throughout the world, they never keepeth at home, especially the ones here in Babylon, Rome and Egypt, because America is spiritually all those things, Babylon the Great. They're always going into someone else's land, uh, 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 
starting wars or fueling both sides of the wars. And then they come in and they, they, they loan money and build up. And now they own you lock, stock and barrel because they expect you to fail and not be able to pay them. And part of the contract is, well, I get to take over your resources. I get to control your water. Or I get to control your airspace. I get to put my military bases in your country, whatever it be. And now the nations of the world are tired of it and they see the hypocrisy. Yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto himself all nations and heapeth unto himself all people. And that's that bring everyone together. We're all together in this, but I'm in charge, okay? That's their mindset. All right? Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and saying, woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long? And to him that lit up to himself with thick clay and that thick clay is debt. America cannot pay his debts, but yet it, it oppresses and suppresses its, its citizens when they can't pay their debt which the reason why the majority of the Americans can't pay their debt is because of a failing government and a failing uh, economy and an unfair and a racist economy and an unfair and a racist judicial system, judicial system that put some, a lot of people in a position where they cannot make money or they can't pay their debts and then you're criminalized for doing so. This place is wicked beyond wicked and it has to go. And it is falling literally before your face and being shamed before the world. Matter of fact, this is Habakkuk uh, 2 and 16. Thou art filled with shame, filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. All right. So it's, it's embarrassing uh, 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 for your skirt to be lifted. Like I said, I have made Esau bear. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee and shameful spewing shall be upon thy glory. And, you know, it's it's quite embarrassing uh, to be an American a lot of day. I just saw a video where some Edomite was asking uh, any foreign country, any foreigner to marry her so that she can leave <laughs> because her country is being run by people with the uh, IQ or, or, of uh, or something to that effect of squirrels. All right. But let's let this woman run her mouth a little bit. Uh, this, uh, this is the name, Cap Capri Caparo. Martin, as the victor of the election that took place on the 3rd of November. Now, the question that I want... I essentially trying to say, look, there's no need for that. I will walk away gracefully at this point, whatever that means. All right, but, but the fact of the matter is Donald Trump has still not conceded the election, although the American legislature has certified Joe Biden as the victor of the election that took place on the 3rd of... See, if you, once again... This interviewer keeps avoiding saying the Electoral College. And it goes to show you how stupid Americans are collectively. This man is purposely not saying the Electoral College. All right. Over and over again. Even though it was written in huge bold letters across the screen that the Electoral College gave Joe, uh, uh, Joe Biden 306 votes. November. Now, the question that I want to ask you is, legally speaking, does Donald Trump now have any avenue to look up to try and overturn the result of this election? That is correct. Every possible legal, legislative, procedural path has been absolutely exhausted. That is why January 6th, I think, was so important uh, to uh, you know Trump's uh, extreme supporters and why I think we saw what we saw today or yesterday now. Um, uh, on Capitol Hill, because this was it. And um, while there is precedence for members of Congress to uh, issue objections to accepting the Electoral College votes. There it is. Sent you see, she let it out the bag. But if you notice the interviewer avoiding saying Electoral College, this place is crooked and it's wicked. And then this woman goes on to talk about her master's degree and, you know, this, that, and the other, yada, yada, woo wop the bam And it just goes to show you, it even went right over her head. The Electoral College is, is, is it. The, the American citizen 
has no rights to vote on who's going to lead their corporation. And you best better believe America is a corporation. Countries have kings. All right. Nations have kings. This is a corporation. All right. Which is ran by uh, large corporations, which in turn is controlled by the bankers. It's been stolen from the people. And now they don't need you or want you anymore. That's why they're making everyone go broke, destroying the businesses, destroying the way of life and, and, and bringing everything down so they can just go digitally. And then you can work and be a servant for pennies for these large corporations. And that's where that information I was talking about that uh, uh, that has been released about Donald Trump and the military with certain military uh, uh leaders and things who are trying to do a coup to take the government back out of the hands uh, 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 of these elites who have uh, hijacked the government for, for, you know, for these corporations. So either way it goes, man, these, the, this is going to bring on that Egyptian versus the Egyptian. And you already saw shots have already been fired. A woman already lost her life yesterday. So a woman got shot in the neck and died a couple hours later. All right. And then there was, there was a lot of injuries. And a funny thing, too, is that, you know, it was it was amazing to me how these Edomites were allowed to do and cause all this destruction and, and attack and hit cops and nobody got shot. And, and, you don't know, no, I was looking at some of this footage and I'm like, if that was a uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, or people of color. OK. And uh, a striking and hitting cops like that. Hey, hey, you know, Jake's get shot for holding cell phones. Jake gets shot uh, w w in the back, running away with nothing, with unarmed. But these people can spit in the face, punch, kick, and, and brandish firearms and not get shot. And then, so, so when you look at the, the, the amount of, of embarrassment and shame and evidence that this place is wicked and unfair, and that there's clearly two sets of justice systems in America. There's one for the Israelites and then one for the Edomites, for others. That is apparent and obvious, and it is apparent and obvious that your votes do not count in this corporation. Call Halal Yahweh by Shalom Shai by Shimbra Kakwadash, Wa Ababa Ba, Shalom.